Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new Destiny video. Guiding Light here. Now, in today's Destiny video, I'm bringing you guys another weapon review for some of the new Vault of Glass raid weapons. So yesterday, I ended up running three Vault of Glass raids and getting just about all of the exotic adept weapons besides the Vex Mythic Glass. So I've given pretty much all of them a pretty fair try and I'm bringing you guys the review of the Vision of Confluence adept today. Now I used this gun a lot back in year 1, back when it was just a legendary, and this was one of my favorite scout rifles to use back in the day. So bringing this back to year 3 definitely did bring back a lot of memories, and overall I think this is going to be a pretty amazing gun for Crucible and for PvE as well. All the time back in year 1 I remember using this for just about every single nightfall that would come up. Anytime it was solo burn I would always choose to use the Vision of Confluence and a Galahorn. It was always just the best loadout back in year 1. Now if you used the Vision of Confluence back in year 1 and you liked it, it's pretty much the same exact weapon, it's still a 4 shot headshot. Now I don't think that this is going to compete up against like a Mita Multitool or a Jade Rabbit because the Jade Rabbit is a 3 shot headshot. And then anytime that I found myself in a gunfight with a Mita, if I didn't hit the first bullet I would lose almost every single time because the Mita would stagger the Vision of Confluence too much to be that accurate. So. If you're already someone that loves the Mita Multitool and you're really good with it, then the Vision of Confluence or really any other scout rifle might not be for you. But if you didn't really like the Mita Multitool or say you never even really got it, then this Vision of Confluence is definitely going to come in handy. Just having it full auto is the only thing that actually sets it apart from a lot of the other scout rifles. And the full auto ability does allow you to get a little bit closer than you would be able to with a lot more scout rifles. So with other scout rifles, I would try to get up and close, but I would end up just dying after I miss one or two shots. But because the Vision of Confluence has such a large clip and is full auto, even if you miss a few shots up close, it's okay because you can always just run away real quick. You won't have to worry about reloading or anything, and then when the person comes around the corner, you can get those four easy headshots on them. So after getting back in the hang of using the Vision of Confluence, I can give you guys a few tips and tricks that I learned back in year one that just make the Vision of Confluence a lot easier to use if you've never used it before. So my first tip when using the Vision of Confluence if you've never used it before is really just to try to stay on the outsides of the map. You don't want to just bum rush into the middle of the map and start getting shot at by a hand cannon or anything else that's like not a scout rifle. The Ayuz Luna and a couple of the other hand cannons in this game will just three tap you really quickly and you won't be able to land any of your shots with the Vision of Confluence. So although the Vision of Confluence has a 19 bullet clip, it is alright if you miss a couple shots here and there. You won't have to worry about reloading. but. Unfortunately, a lot of the other guns in this game will just tear right through you if you aren't hitting your shots with Vision. So, at first, when just starting out with Vision and Confluence, I try to stay in the longest hallways as possible. Really stay as far away from people as possible, and, and just until you get used to the recoil. Now, once you finally have gotten used to the recoil, you can almost use the Vision of Confluence like a mini auto rifle. Be sure to use the full auto to your advantage and just spray your gun. I know it sounds really ridiculous, like why would you just spray your gun randomly, but if you think it's someone is coming around a corner and you just start shooting a little bit early, or if you just miss a couple of shots and then someone does happen to come around the corner, it's just going to help you to get the first bullet on them and then overall it's just going to help you get that kill a lot faster in the end. So don't be afraid to just spray your gun off, the clip is really big and you won't have to worry about reloading it all that often. And on top of that, the Zen Moment perk and Perfect Balance make it so there's almost no recoil at all. So, so long as you're running Perfect Balance with the Sure Shot Reticle, then you shouldn't have any problems when hitting your shot. Now if you end up in hand cannon range and you're still using your vision of confluence, just make sure to aim sort of towards the upper chest. Don't aim too low because you won't do that much damage, but if you aim just a little bit above the person's stomach, then as soon as they start shooting you, the recoil is just going to make you get a headshot every single time, and it's definitely an easier way to win a lot of your gunfights if someone has like an Eyes Luno or maybe even a Hawkmoon or something like that. That's really the only way that I found the vision of confluence to be able to beat those types of weapons, at least when up and close, so do keep that in mind. You might not want to go for headshots every single time and every time that you see somebody because depending on the weapon they're using, it might not be the best idea if they start to stagger you. Now other than that guys, those are pretty much all the tips that I can give you when using Vision of Confluence that I've learned. Now I know a lot of you guys have probably used Vision of Confluence back in year one, so if you've learned any special tips yourselves or something that I didn't mention in this video, be sure to leave it in the comments down below to help everyone out. Other than that guys, let me know what your favorite Vault of Glass exotic has been so far in the new challenge modes. And I will see you guys tomorrow in another Destiny video. Peace.